hello everyone we are talking here about the pgp analytics program here that is being launched by i am amdabad uh, i'm chirantan chatterjee who with the economics and business policy area um, i'm going to share a little bit about strategy analytics which is one of the tracks that is going to be offered uh, as part of the pgp analytics program uh, and i'm just uh, maybe walk you through what kind of stuff we'll teach uh, as part of uh, strategy analytics uh, if you look at a conventional strategy course uh, you'll see that it's split essentially into three modules uh, the initial module is about an industry analysis you do the five porters five forces uh, and, and understand what's the nature of the competition what is the kind of bargaining power you can exercise with your customers or with your um, raw material suppliers and what kind of threats and substitutes uh, you can see in the market um, and, and after doing the industry analysis and competition analysis, you move into looking at what are the resources within the company, within the organization that helps it to differentiate uh, some sort of uh, market power and uh, create market share in the industry. And then finally, we look at uh, in these strategy courses, the standard strategy course. Uh, having done the comp competition analysis and industry analysis and appreciating the role of resources within the firms, uh, we get into issues on corporate strategy where we are looking at the role of family business, we are looking at the role of uh, corporate strategy like mergers and acquisitions and how it's driving profitability and productivity of firms. Now, where does analytics come into being or where is the role of analytics in these three diverse verticals of strategy? Well, um, if you look at farms in both traditional as well as new age sectors uh, essentially analytics is about mining data that the organization is potentially gathering either primarily from its own uh, data sources from either the supply chain or the vertical suppliers who are supp uh, supplying the company or from customers in the market uh, in addition companies also subscribe to secondary research to understand the nature of competition and periodically do surveys uh, courtesy their own internal units uh, and uh, hr units looking at how uh, what is what is driving productivity factors of employees what is the role of attrition and all those kinds of questions so uh, if that is the nature of the data that is being collected, one can easily appreciate how that data can help in answering various questions in competition analysis, how firms can build resources for market power, and also how um, you can guide short and long run strategy of firms in terms of mergers and acquisitions and uh, joint ventures and um, uh, the nature of control uh, and its effect on productivity of firms. Um, so if you look at the big data science units in modern technology corporations like an Amazon, Facebook or uh, um, Google, what you will see is these data science units basically do uh, essentially this work they are mining data for day-to-day -day troubleshooting with their uh, board and with their chief strategy officer and giving them help in terms of analytics driven intuitions of what's the right pricing strategy what is the right customer target group which markets are working versus which markets are not working what should be the design elements around new product that is being launched etc etc but they're also offering by working with different uh, uh, departments within the organization like finance, HR, uh, marketing, etc. When companies launch new initiatives, are those really generating their intended effects? So for example, if uh, learning and development teams are using chatbots to engage with employees to understand whether employee satisfaction is being driven by it, uh, one would love to know that by tracking daily data of employee engagement with chatbots and that data is potentially analyzed by data science units within the organizations helping the HR strategy of the firms which also has an implication for the larger employee productivity and performance of firms and speaks to the strategy unit uh, in all these organizations. So a um, couple of things definitely do happen with these data science units. One is daily troubleshooting and second is uh, looking at different initiatives and their impact evaluations within the organizations. But in the long run, some of these data science units are even braver. So if you look at an Amazon or an eBay or a Yahoo, they are also encouraging some of these insights that are coming from practitioner life of organizations, day-to-day -day practitioner life of organizations to generate, let's say, theoretical insights. These theoretical insights might actually benefit economics, it could get, it could benefit strategy, uh, it could even benefit game theory and other interdisciplinary areas. And some organizations also sometimes encourage uh, the data science folks to publish these insights so as to generate new knowledge and potentially even new IP for organizations through which it can 
tomorrow build new products and new uh, and and create some sort of differentiability from competitors in the same market segment so in broader terms that's basically all the different cogs in the wheels that we'll cover in strategy analytics we'll try to situate you in the central tenets of teaching strategy which is understanding competition the role of resources for differentiation and corporate strategy but having done that we will also sensitize you to the role of data science teams in guiding these three verticals within strategy and then walk you through use cases of how all of these issues are being solved in day to day life of organizations and managers and hopefully with all of that you will be armed with a set of toolkits that speaks to other areas as well and not just strategy to make you a forceful employee in changing your organization as the industry changes as we have ai and machine learning for example changing the nature of productivity of organizations in india wish you good luck